What's up guys, welcome back to COVID Cleans and so my Django Crash Course here on YouTube officially starts with this video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a virtual environment for your Django project, you understand? So if you don't know what this Crash Course is about, if you don't know what this Crash Course entails, go and watch the previous video before this one. You will get to understand what this Crash Course is all about. So without further ado, we are getting into this, we are getting started with this video right now okay guys so before we proceed i'd love to explain what a virtual environment is so a virtual environment is simply an environment or a package that helps to hold the dependencies for your django project you get so every django project is meant to have a virtual environment because in that virtual environment that's where the dependencies for your django project lies you understand so every every django project has some unique dependencies that separate it from other Django projects. So the, with the virtual, so the virtual environment helps to keep these dependencies you get. So as we dive further into this course, you are going to understand why we really need this virtual environment. So right now it might seem difficult for you to understand, but as we go further, it will become easier. You, you, you start to see things for yourself, you get. So that's that. So right now, let's create our first virtual environment so let's do that right now so right now i have my command prompt so get your command prompt just go down to the search here and search for cmd you find your command prompt search for cmd there so i already have my here so now i'm going to create a virtual environment now so this is how we do it here so first of all we have several ways of creating a virtual environment in django so i have my own my own preferred method so i'm going to use that right here so First of all, I need to install the virtual environment wrapper. So you use this command called so currently I'm in my root directory. I'm in the base the root directory. So I'm gonna say pip install virtual env wrapper iPhone win. So I need to install this first. Okay, as we have here, I already have the virtual env wrapper iPhone win installed. So what you have to what you have to do next now you have to now you have to now make the actual virtual environment instead. So the command is this the command is this it's called make virtual env. Then I'm gonna give the name of the virtual environment. I'm gonna call my let's say DJ uh let's say Django Django env. So this is the name of my virtual environment. Instead, I can whatever name you like is fine by you. But I'm calling my Django env. So let's see. So right now it's going to create this virtual environment for me and then activate it at once. You get. So let's see how this comes up. So right now, as you can see, our virtual environment has been created and it's called Django env. You can see that on the left. It's on the left here. You understand? So. You can see that it was created and also activated at once. So once we have a Django, once you have, once you have your virtual environment created, created and, and, and activated, what you have to do is that you have to install Django into this virtual environment. So I'm going to install Django right. I'm going to say pip install Django. So right, now I'm going to install Django into this virtual environment. So let's do that right away. So right now, we already have Django installed in our virtual environment. I'm using currently we are working in Django 4.1.6. Can see that over here. So once this is done now, once we once create our Django project, you can stand. So our virtual environment is in our is in the root directory of our computer. So I'm going to show what I'm talking about right now. It's in the root directory. So I'm going to go down to my root directory right now. Let's go down there. I think it's called this PC. Oh, let's look at this then users then cleansing um, EMVs you can see my Django I called it Django ENV you can see it over here this is my virtual environment I can see all these ones you see here. these are all the virtual environments I have for different projects I'm working on you understand so that's that. So once you've done this now, I want to create my Django project now. So I want to, I'm going to create my Django project inside my documents directory. So documents, the documents. And I'm going to create it. I'm going to create it. I'm going to create. I need to create a folder. I'm going to say make directory. I'm going to call this folder um, 
Django Crash. This code is Django DJ underscore Crash underscore Course. Understand? So Django Crash Course. That was um, that what it means there. So I'm going to create. I'm going to go into that folder. I'm going to say cd into DJ underscore Crash underscore Course. So right now we have a new folder called DJ underscore Crash underscore Course. So this folder is in my document directory, and in this folder I want to create a Django project in this folder. I want to create a Django project right in this folder. You get so I'm going to speak. I'm going to start right now. Let's create our Django project. Understand? Before you can create, it, before you can create a Django project, must make sure you have your virtual environment activated, and must also make sure that you have Django installed in your virtual environment. I'm going to say Django admin start project. I'm going to call this project. Uh, let's call it um, my site. So let's just say blog blog site blog site now so right now i'm creating a django project called blog site so i'm going to say enter so it's going to create a django project for me called blog site so let's just close this so right now our django our django project have been created our django project have been created in so it's called blog site so i'm going to go down i'm going to say cd blog site so I want to go into that directory. I'm going. I'm right now. I am moving into my Django project directory called Block Size. So I'm there right now. Okay, I'm currently there. So once I've done this now, I want to open this directory with VS Code. Let me say code, then dots. So it's going to open this current directory on VS Code. So currently, our application is now opened on VS Code, right? So you can see now we have this. Our jungle, our jungle project is called blog sites. You understand? So we have this, this, uh, this folder we have is the outer folder that covers everything. And right here we have the main jungle project called blog sites, which has the settings.pyfy and the ui.pyfy. You understand? So right now let's run our server. So click on terminal, new terminal. And now we're going to run server right now. So click on this drop down, pick command prompt. So once you've done that now, so you can see our virtual environment has been so it's already activated. Make sure your virtual EMV is activated. Right now, I'm going to say Python. Python. Manage.py. Run server. So I think this is, I'm going to reduce the size a bit. I just say. So right now our server is up and running in the stand. So you can see it says you can see system check identified no issues. So it shows a starting development server at this spot. So just hold down control and click on this. You're gonna have this URL open on the browser. So right now this shows that we have successfully created the Django project for ourselves in the stand. So everything is fine now. So in this video, you've learned how to make a virtual environment and also how to start a Django project in the next video I'm going to start working with models, views and URLs so see you in the next video